Yeah. Ah. Okay. Whew. Man, it's been a day. Uh, so I just asked God to give me the message that I'm going to try to tell you. I've been trying to record it. So I got three basic colors that I normally use. One is like a little, like a little camo uh, color from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart or something. It's a little gray one, a little brown, uh, a little light brown one, a little. Uh, satin green uh rustoleum satin green i chose the colors because of the colors are native to our time of year that we're in so uh and then uh some uh some satin some satin uh it's called brown boot uh but it's uh but it's the same color as uh as our uh, water lilies and leaves and things see like right now uh See, that's a, you don't know if you can see this, how well you can see it, but that's, uh, that's the color of it. So, uh, anyway, let's get after it. All right. So now the next thing you got to do is you got to, you have to pick a, um, you have to, you have, you have to pick a pattern. Uh, which I'll be right back in a second. I forget what it's called, but it makes a good fire starter. Uh, this right here, what I did is I just went and picked it up off of the uh, off of the side of the bayou right there. And this is my pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this thing flush uh, up next to that black background, and uh, then I'm going to take in. Uh, once I get a pattern like this, I'm going to spray paint, paint it with a color. Then I may move it over just a little bit and spray it with another color. But it just depends on how it starts looking and how it's going to work out. I may even have to go down to a smaller, uh, just this portion here to get down into the finer points of stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll just sit back, relax, and move this thing out of the way. And we'll get to it when we get to it. And another thing I do is this: is uh, I'll start here and go one, two, three, four, four, five, one, two, three. You know, like this, and I'll choose another color, and I'll do another color, and I'll do another color to keep it uh, up and running so we can see everything that we need to see. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll take this one here, do that one there, uh, do a little bit more right there. Just enough to get a, a nice little pattern in it. Uh, yeah, something like this, something like that, something like this. Yeah, this is uh, not working. The pattern's not working as well as I hoped it to, but uh, because it's on this, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Now we'll take this, I'll switch colors with it a little bit, put a little green in it, uh, in little places where I hadn't put no other green before, and uh, put a little stem mark in it, you know, put a little more little colored in it right there, put some green down here somewhere, uh, put a little green right there. And that's basically all we're going to do is just uh, spray paint it with a little color or two and uh yeah put some more green right there and some green right here and uh some over here some more here and here yeah I'm, I'm not in a hurry to get this thing uh Throw some color on it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we'll get some tan here. 
get the tank going on it. It'll also help too, is as you're as you're rolling it around, so that way when you're spraying it, you spray like the top of the leaf. You spray like the top of the leaf right there, and then you roll it around and then hit it so that it so that it leaves the contour of this side and on this side as well. So as you roll the leaf as you're spraying it, you just roll the leaf around and you spray inside this little gadget right here to get this effect in here as well. And that's really what makes it look good, and you're going to use the. The color that you want the most, like in our time of need right now, uh, is, uh, I guess, uh, it'll be kind of a greenish, kind of a, a tannish color. So, but I want more tannish color now. So whenever, whenever, because it'll blend in more now what's happening in our, in our environment right this minute. So as the middle of summer comes along, all I got to do is just get one more color, there's the outside of the color, and then go out and hit it go a couple more times and now it's changed the color again and you just keep doing that and doing that and doing that throughout the um, throughout the summer and the winter and the fall you just keep changing it to, to keep up with your with, with your current situation or your color scheme or whatever it is uh, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute it's gonna, it's gonna look better in a minute yep You know, I would show y'all a little more, but I want that stuff to get on to my uh, get on to my ordeal. I don't know how well y'all can actually see that right there or not, but uh, well, yeah. You see how I, see how see how I did that? You see how we got that uh, that long line of uh, tan on the bottom? This is how we fixed it. It was a part that I mixed, that messed up, so. So how we fix it is we just go right back to it and and uh, flag it back out. Flag it back out a little bit, put a little black on it. Give it a little brown to it right there and there and put a little green spot on it, put a little green right there. A little green, now you blacked out again. Yep. Yeah. And that's basically it. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the real fine details of stuff, but uh, you get the point. Just have fun with it. Don't worry about getting it on you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about all that. Just get it on you. Just get it out there. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, to give y'all kind of a, a closer up image of it. Uh, so uh, this is kind of you know what the finished product looks like and they've got a few little places in here where uh, it shows up real good and uh, we're gonna try it I'm gonna try zooming in kind of give you all the cool effects so you see how that works uh, so yeah there you go there you have it I believe if you had this in a tent you had it out in the woods and you was camouflaged, you put it in your bedroom window, you put it in your garage, uh, I think it'd look cool. So uh, it's totally camouflaged, so you don't have to worry about that. There's a couple of black places in it, I'm gonna touch it up. But uh, other than that, you should be good to go. Hey, uh, one last thing. Uh, you know, we are the King James Bible Survival School. My name is Brian, I'm your host. But uh, you know, I do wanna tell you that uh, um, you know, God loves you, 
I love you. And, uh, you know, if all that spells, read your, read your Bible, man. That's what God intended for us to do anyway. So, verify what your pastor says. Verify what your friends say, tell you. Verify what, you're, uh, what you hear on the radio and you hear on uh, television. Just verify it all. Don't put up with none of that unnecessary um, chitter-chatter. That's what I call it. Because, you see, sometimes people add too much stuff to it. And when they add too much stuff, then that's when um, that's when that unnecessary chitter chatter comes in. Because God said, "Don't be worried about that." He says, uh, "So you just you just listen to what He's got to tell you." And uh, you know, once again, my name is Brian Elmore, and I'm your host of the King James Bible Survival School. Man, the sun is bright this today. <laughs> Oh, man, all right. Uh, First thing I was doing was I was taking this. Uh, I was taking this other program, and uh, what I was doing was is I had the first color on it. So now what I'm going to do is this. See, I've changed the leaf pattern a little bit. I'm going to use this one here, something of that nature there. And uh, now I'm going to take this leaf pattern, and I'm going to fly it in different little locations on here and kind of see what it looks like. Uh, and I've done this in prior. Uh, it, it had worked out pretty good before. But you can see uh, there's these little patterns here, here, and here. And what I want to do is I just kind of want to offset to that and, uh, and see. Uh, so what I want to do is I just want to put a little bit of a, a different uh, leaf pattern to it. Just, Little here, little there. Uh, little here at the little there. Actually, the Bible says here at the little and there at the little it. <laughs> Amen. So now I'm going to take this one and uh, put it here. Give it a little uh, different color to it. Uh, just to give it something other to look at different colors maybe or uh, make sure the colors kind of random and patternized and whatnot so now we'll take a little brown with this new leaf color here and put it on it uh, and see what's up there you go something like that and something like this so now you got more than one leaf pattern to it and when that's the case, then uh, so uh, I guess you get the point, right? See how better that looks. Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, well, it's top of the day. My name is Brian Elmore, and I was your host of the King James Bible Survival School. Break time's over. Uh, <laughs> I got the, I got my chair out of my little kayak, and this makes my little bed.